So we've been asked today to solve this triangle for the unknown angle labeled here. Okay. So if we were to label this triangle uh, like a typical triangle, uh, A, B, and C, that would make this side A, side B, and side C. And the first thing you have to do is you have to identify what type of triangle we have here. And because we were given all three sides, this is a side, side, side triangle. And a side, side, side triangle means you have to use the law of cosines to solve for any unknowns. And so in this case, we've been asked to find angle A. Okay. So we have three uh, equations for the law of cosines. Uh, I'm going to write this one. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. This is the law of cosines that we need to use because if you look, you're going to have this is known, this is known, this is known, these two are known, this is unknown. Now, this one we have to actually solve for the angle A. And what I like to do is I like to solve my formulas before I put the formulas, uh, before I put the numbers in them. I think it's much simpler, it's easier. More importantly, if you do that, um, you end up with a formula that you can reuse over and over and over again. So, if I solve this, the first thing I need to do is move these two guys here over to the left-hand side. So I end up with a squared minus b squared minus c squared equals negative 2bc cosine a. Okay, so these were additive. I subtracted them. Uh, negative 2bc cosine a, this is all multiplicative. This is all multiplying. So I want to divide by this. So if I divide both sides by negative 2bc, I end up with a squared minus b squared minus c squared over negative 2bc equals cosine of a. Okay. The last step in my wonderful adventure here is to get rid of the cosine function. And to do that, we take the inverse cosine of both sides. So taking the inverse cosine of the right-hand side, I end up with just the letter A. And if I take the inverse cosine of the left-hand side, I'm going to take the inverse cosine of all of this. So I end up with the inverse cosine of A squared minus B squared minus C squared over negative 2BC. Okay, so now my last step is to actually plug in these numbers. So if you recall, if I take this formula for just a second and I go back up to my original picture, A was 17, B was 14, and C was 18. So 17, 14, and 18. So if I plug those numbers in, A is 14, B, excuse me, a is 17, B is 14, and C is 18. If I plug those numbers into this equation, I'll get the angle A. And so to do that, I'm going to bring on my trusty calculator here, because why not? <laughs> and um, again, uh, make sure you're in the correct mode. Uh, the big deal here, folks, is if I am in degree mode, okay, so if I go to my mode key, uh, if I go to mode, I'm in degree mode. A is an angle, which means I'm going to solve for an angle. Uh, if I'm in degree mode, then my answer will be in degrees. If I'm in radian mode, then my answer will be in radians. So I'm going to say A squared minus B squared minus C squared equals. That's negative 231. Okay? And that's this quantity right here. I'm going to divide that by negative 2 times B times C. Okay? And that's going to give me a decimal. That decimal is this entire quantity right here. Okay? I want to take the inverse cosine of this quantity. So I'm going to say inverse cosine of my answer. 
And again, if you haven't seen my other videos where I talk about this, this answer key on a TI-8483 uh, is right above the minus sign. On a lot of scientific calculators, it's right above the uh, equals or the enter button. Uh, really, really handy little thing so you don't have to retype stuff. And I get an answer of 62.72. And so, angle A is equal to 62.72 degrees. And just to make sure, I always like to go back and look at my answer to see if it makes sense to me. And, um, you know, when I go back up here and I look, now I don't have any angles to compare this to, but let's say I was asked to solve for all three angles. This guy's 62.72. It's across from the 17 foot side. If I solve for this angle, it's across from the 14 foot side. It should be smaller than the answer I just got. So, you know, if you had to solve for all three angles, you'd want to compare them and see that you they seem like they were in the right ballpark. But anyway, this is um, this is the answer for that question just asked to solve for angle A. And if you have any questions about how to use the law of cosines, uh, please let me know.